This is not because Mum and Brian don't want you around. It just might be easier here for now. Things are going to work out. Promise? Thank you, promise. You are formally being offered an internship at Northern Districts Hospital. Seriously, thank you. You earned it. I just got my roster from the hospital. Oh, cool. When do you start? Tomorrow. Antidepressants are a perfectly acceptable option. I will call Alex first thing about the counselling, get the ball rolling. And the medication? I'm going to give it a miss. You think he's kidding himself? I don't know how to make him listen. I can't say what's best for you, but the medication did change Mum's life. It wasn't easy, but she got the help she needed and she put in the hard yards. Did you know your sister dumped Colby? Yep. I heard Wexy is about me being a cop. It's about me being scared for you all the time. If you think Colby's face looks bad, wait till I'm finished with her. Going off at Mac isn't going to help anyone. Whatever happens, we need to be supporting Colby. Kay is a family. Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? What were you thinking? Isn't it obvious? Well, don't you have any idea how bad this could have been? The place was empty. No one was going to get hurt. Yeah, you could have. It doesn't matter. I didn't. Can we just not make this a big deal? You are so lucky that we caught you and it wasn't Colby. I was doing it for him. You saw how much of a mess he was in because of her. Yes, he has taken it hard. But you don't go burning down buildings yeah, over it. What has happened is between Colby and Matt. He is my brother. And I will have his back every single time. Stop, Bella. Oh, Dean, don't. I'm not going to get anywhere with her like this tonight. It's quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. Now with the cyclone Ava in bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot how much energy kids have. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's OK. It's OK, because I was going to have a shower anyway, and maybe you could have one with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. OK. Yeah. Take it off. Whoa. Oh, hey. <laughs> What's going on here? No, no, what's going on there? Ah, OK, I am celebrating because I just finished my last shift at the gym. What? Yeah, I'm starting my internship early. As in tomorrow! Oh, yes. my goodness! So what do you want to celebrate? Yeah, yeah. It's awesome, bro. Yeah. In moderation, though. Oh, yeah, of course. You need a clear head for tomorrow. You <laughs> that. Well, here is a cheers to you starting oh. tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Hey, good work today. Thanks. I haven't seen you around for a while. No, probably because Mason usually takes his class. Oh, you better get used to me. I mean, since you and your hospital buddies have stolen. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> well, you got me back. I'll be paying for this tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, you want to schedule in some more PT sessions? I mean, obviously, with Mason gone, you'd be stuck with me. That's OK. I'd like that. Cool. I'll book you in. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi. Oh, hey. Have you seen Bella this morning? Uh, no. I mean, not that I'd notice if she walked past. I mean, flat out, covering Mason's classes off of my own. I'm going to go talk to her now. She better have chilled out overnight, I swear. Well, oh, OK, maybe you need to calm down a bit. Me? She tried to burn down salt. That's insane. Yeah, because I can't imagine anyone else I know having a knee-jerk reaction doing something stupid. Yeah, all right. I've done some dumb stuff before, but still, she could end up in juvie acting like this. You're right, it is pretty extreme for girls. You think we should tell Colby? Nah, not yet. I think we should try and handle it ourselves first. Well, just remember, she's not going to listen to you if you go in there all hard. I don't care. She's old enough to know better, and she needs to be told. Oh, yes. Oh, I think you should flip that. Hey, 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 hey. I know how to cook a pancake, don't I, Eva? Yeah, but sometimes they are a bit burnt. Oh, you're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> I'm burnt. Watch this. You ready? Oh, oh it's burnt. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. That's my one. I'll have that one, OK? Who is this guy? Oh, he's a new intern at Northern Districts. He even looks like a real doctor. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that. So how are you feeling? Uh, I feel like uh, I can't actually believe this is happening. Believe it, bro. Believe it. All right, look, you worked hard for this. You deserve it. Oh, thank you. I just wish Tori was here too. Yeah, me too. Well, how about I take a photo and we can send it to Raffi and Brody now and Tori can see it when she gets back. It's a great idea. Can I take the picture? Sure. 
Don't worry, man. We'll put a filter on it. I'll You'll look great. Just... <laughs> okay. Smile. Okay, now a serious doctor face. Serious? Um... Oh, <laughs> really? That's your serious face. <laughs> Over. Uh, Brian's calling. I'll call him back later. All right. Dad, you and Leah should get in the picture too. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Everyone say, Dr. Morgan. Dr. 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 Morgan. Morgan. I'm sorry. Good to see you reacquainting yourself with the equipment. Yeah, something like that. Hey, the key word there was reacquaint. Mm. You've spent plenty of time in ED. You know your way around. Mm. Mason, you got this. Yeah, uh, it just feels different this time. More official. I know. I was an intern once too, remember? Mm. All right, well, let's start with something straightforward. Let's do the patient rounds. Yeah, sure, makes sense. Okay, well, the patient in bed one came mm. in with a bit of a medical mystery. Mm. Hey, Ben. Hi, um, sorry, mate. Um, can we have a quick chat at all? I mean, if now's not a good time, I'll come back. You know what, now is totally fine. Okay, while I'm with Ben, if you could interview that patient, take a history and work out a plan. Yep, no worries. Great. This way. I thought our appointment was for tomorrow. It was, it was. Um, but I thought a lot about what you told me yesterday. I talked to Maggie and Ziggy. That's good. And I've made up my mind. I've decided I'll see a psychologist and try that therapy you suggested. That's great. It's called Cognitive Behavioural Therapy and I really think you get a lot out of it. And what about medication? I reckon I might give that a go as well. Westly to South Westly with 15 to 20. Yeah, I really need to succeed today, but I'm just under so much stress. I hope you're in a better mood than you were last night. Because we've got some stuff that we need to sort out. Shush. Seriously, just drop it. Okay, well, I'll go talk to Colby about it instead then. Wait, okay, fine. We'll talk, just don't wake him up. Especially after everything he went through yesterday. Fine, let's just go talk outside. Look, maybe you're too young to understand. Am I, Professor Dean? Sometimes relationships, they just don't work out. And it's no one's fault. This isn't one of those times. And how do you think it would have helped Colby if he had to bail you out on arson charges? See, his little sister wound up in juvie. Well, I wasn't planning on getting caught. We caught you. I knew exactly what I was doing. And what if you'd got away with it? It wouldn't have just affected Mac and Salt, but the surf club and the gym would have burnt down too. So? Willow would have been out of a job. Oh, <laughs> she'd just have to do more boot camps on the beach. Bella, listen to yourself. It doesn't matter! Because nothing happened. That's not the point. The only reason you don't agree with me is because she is your sister. No, it's because what you did was stupid. Do not and... call me stupid. I, you too. Knock it off. What the flippin' heck is going on? Get it off him, let's score another one. Come on, come on, get it off him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Great. We're going to go get a milkshake later. Do you want to come? I would so love that, but I've got to work. Maybe next time? Ava, your turning goals. How long she in town for? Ah, uh, not sure. Lena's got some stuff going on. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, she's not the only one. <laughs> I better go. Bye. Hey, did you find Bells? You know that theory we had about her coming to her senses overnight? Yeah. If anything, she's gotten worse. What do you mean? The only thing she's sorry for is the fact that we caught her. So she's still got it in for Mac? Yeah. And because Mac's my sister, she thinks I'm on her side. I'm done. Dean, I don't think What's just... the point? We can't get through to her. Where is she now? What's happened? Nothing. Really? Because it looks like a whole lot of something to me. It's just about Mac breaking up with Colby. Well, love, I can understand you being upset for your brother, but what's Dean got to do with it? Everything. He just dumped his best mate, who has been there for him for forever, to take his shiny new sister's side. Oh, great. Are you here to have a go as well? Why is Willow copping it now? 
Is there something going on that I should know about? No, I just saw Dean, and so I thought I'd come hear your side of the story. See what the problem is. You know it's about Mac. And FYI, she's the one with the problem. She was supposed to make Colby happy, and instead she goes and dumps him the minute things get tough. Same thing happened with Chelsea. Every time we let outsiders into our family, they ruin everything. No, I think this is a bit different. No, she's just another fake, pretending to care. Anyway, I'm not wasting any more oxygen on her. I'm going home. That went well. Well, at least we know what's going on now. We do. Well, isn't it obvious, love? Colby wasn't the only one that Mac dumped yesterday. Now, that's the number for the psychologist. You'll need to call to make an appointment, but she's expecting to hear from you. Okay. And you can get your prescription filled at our pharmacy here. It's just down the corridor. But just remember that the medication could take a couple of weeks for you to feel a difference in your mood. Right. And as I said, if you feel any side effects, don't give up. Just keep taking it and come see me. Thanks for everything. Anytime. And please call me if you need. Yeah. Hey. How'd you go? Yeah, good. Um, so, patient in room number one needs an ECG and a chest X-ray. Complete blood analysis, biochemical workup, echocardiogram. Look, it's, it's clear you're being thorough, and that's great, but we need to get the basic test done before we can even think about going into any of this. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I, d I just wanted to give you a complete plan. Sure, and maybe the patient will need these tests, but let's wait till they're seen by the cardiologist first. You all right? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make a good impression, show that I was worth the effort. Hey. There's only one reason that you got this job, and it's because you deserve it, OK? I get that the first day as an intern can be intimidating, but you've trained for this, you know the drill, and I'm not going to throw you into anything that you can't handle. OK. Right. Let's move on to the next patient. Mm. Hey, you got a minute? Sure. Everything OK? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I, I wanted to say thanks for last night. No worries. I've decided to go ahead with the medication. That's great. Well, I mean, it's not great, but it means things are going to get better. Yeah, well, that's the plan. Um, anyway, it just feels good to be doing something about it. Yeah. I remember Mum saying something similar, too. Hmm. See so how we go, eh? Yeah. Good luck. Ta. Hey. Hey. Is Mac working today? No, but please tell me you sorted things out with Bella. Well, I realise that her reaction isn't just about Colby. She's feeling rejected, too. <sighs> Mac and Bella were pretty close. Yes, exactly. But what do we do about it? Well, I was thinking about last night, well, how we were joking about us dishing out advice. Full and responsible adults. Yeah. Maybe we could give that a go with Bells. Listen, it's OK to pass if this gets a little bit hard. Boom, boom, and boom. Wait, what? I know. Ah. <laughs> Uh, all right, look, this is my move. <sighs> See what damage you can do with that, and I'll get us a drink, all right? Hey, what's up? Well, I just found Ava's phone outside, and it was buzzing like crazy. Uh, that's strange. She's usually attached to it. <laughs> right? And there was 15 missed calls from Brian, so clearly he's desperate to talk to her. Hey, bro. Leah just found your phone outside. There's like 15 missed calls from Brian. That's why it's outside. Got sick of it going off all the time. Why didn't you just answer it? Because I don't want to talk to him, okay? I wonder what's going on there. I don't know. I'm going to call Brian. Find out. Changed your mind and decided to dob me into Colby. Bad luck. Going to Yabby Creek. Because that's going to stop me. I have a phone. Oh, guys, that's not why we're here. We're just here to talk. And you can go straight back out because I'm not going to be yelled at again. No yelling. Right, Dean? Probably not. Fine. What do you want to say? That Mac breaking up with Colby 
It has nothing to do with you. It's not even that Mac doesn't want to be with Colby. It's that she can't handle the danger that comes with his work. So there's no reason why you and Mac can't still hang out. You think? Yes. Mac likes you. A lot. And she'll want to be there for you. So you're saying Mac will still want to be friends with me? Yes, absolutely. It's a no-brainer. Sucks to be Mac then. Because I want nothing to do with her. Okay, so that's 10 a.m. And how often will I need to meet you? Once a week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. Thanks. I'll look forward to meeting you too. This is Andrew Davidson, 54-year-old farmer, rolled his tractor, suspected fractured femur and pelvis, possible internal bleeding. BP 100 over 65, heart rate 90. OK, you're part of the trauma team. You'll shadow the circulation doctor. What would you do first? Oh, my car. No One, time to second guess, Mason. Three. Think. His BP's falling. He's got a rapid heart rate, so he's obviously still bleeding. So what are you going to do? He needs a large bore cannula and a bag of own egg ready to go while we're waiting for his blood to be cross-matched. Perfect. And that's why you got this internship. We're not great at this, are we? No. Sometimes Bella is just, just something else. Yeah, I know. Trust is a big thing with that kid. Yeah, but it makes sense. You know, years of thinking that her mum had run away and then finding out that a scumbag of a dad had actually buried her in the backyard. Yeah. Maybe we should tell Colby after all. You saw him yesterday. He's a mess. Doesn't need this now. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Could keep an eye on Bella. For Mac's sake, at least. Yeah, she's a bit of a loose cannon. But who's to say that she's not going to try something like this again? Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. It... No, she left her phone down in the backyard. Yeah. All right, well, you take care of yourself, Brian. Yeah, mate. Talk soon. Hey, how's Ava? Yeah, she's OK. She's in a room reading. She seems a lot calmer now. All right, good. So did, um, did Brian give an explanation? Turns out that Brian didn't have any idea that Ava was staying here because Nina didn't tell him anything. What? Yeah. Uh, he went to pick up Ava from soccer practice and they said that Nina had already come and got her. OK. So he tried to call Nina about the sudden change of plans. She wouldn't answer his calls. That's when he decided to start trying Ava. <sighs> I mean, why would Nina do this? Just cut him out like this? It seems really harsh. Oh, I don't know either. Do you know Brian has been over stepfather since she was two? As far as I can see, he's been a good dad. Yeah, well, that's what I thought too. How can Nina think that this is an OK way to deal with a breakup? Oh, no, no, it's not good. No. Like, if this is some kind of deliberate act to cut Brian out of Ava's life, of course Ava's going to feel that. Yeah. She's going to have to sort it out quickly because I'm not having Ava getting hurt anymore. Wacko, look at you, all handsome and professional on your first day. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. Uh, how do you guys know? <laughs> oh, Wacky right, tipped us off. Yeah. So how's it going? Are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's full on, I mean, but it's, it's really great. Oh, well, that's wonderful. We're very happy for you. Mm. And I bet the rest of the Morgan clan are proud as punch, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's just a shame that Tori's not here. It would have been good to call her, or at least text her, or get Robert to tell her. Mm -hmm. By the way, he's back in town, right? Well, in a manner of speaking, he turned up, thumped Colby, shot through again. And no one knows where he's gone? No. Fair income, that bloke has performed more disappearing acts than Houdini. Mm. <laughs> yeah, OK. Ava, Mum wants to speak to you. OK. Hey, Mum. What did Nina say? 
I uh, just reckon she forgot to tell Brian that Ava was staying here. I tried, but he kept calling. Right. And do you believe her? I don't know. But Dad told me... You know, Nina's been all over the place since the separation, so... It's... Mum, I did everything you told me to do, I promise. Can you hang on for a second? Yeah. Ava, can I have the phone, please? What is going on with you? It's OK. Your mum's just stressed. Hey, Nina! You're supposed to be protecting our daughter from all your drums, not dragging her into them. I don't want to hear your excuses. Ava needs me, OK? We'll talk about it later. Hey. I didn't mean to make Mum mad. Hey, you haven't done anything wrong, sweetheart. None of this is your fault. Are you sure? Absolutely. And don't worry, it's all going to be OK. I'm going to fix it. Thank you, promise. Next time on Home and Away. And what do you think about camping? There's no worries out here, right? Well, hopefully she'll be relaxed enough today to talk. Whatever. Hey. Better hit the books. Uh, not all of us are as whipped as you, bro. I've already figured out another way to take the pressure off. Have you ever found yourself in a tricky situation you don't know how to get out of? Why, something up. And I've thought of the perfect way to not get caught. You want to drug the exam supervisor? I've got what you're looking for. We do this my way. Is this really necessary?